Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to your favorite girl on the internet. That's me by the way. If you are new here, my name is Jasmine Rosette and this series is where I document my weight loss journey. I show you guys the ups and downs, the ins and outs, the positives and the negatives of what it's like for me on my personal weight loss journey. Before we get into today's video, I would ask that you would give this video a thumbs up. If you like any part of this video, subscribe so you can keep up to date with your favorite girl and comment down below, say hi, I say hi back. And without any further ado, let's get into today's video. So before I start into the recap for the past couple months, I do want to say if you want to catch up on why I haven't really been uploading, you can hit the cards above and it gives you kind of an update on what's been going on with me. But yeah, now let's get into the past couple months recap. I'm out here on my walk, getting a little over six, seven thousand steps in. I'm doing the Dinga step challenge for 30 days. So walk every day except once a week for the month of June. Yeah, so that's what I'm doing. I just out here walking on a nice windy day. <laughs> well, I mean, it's windy just now, but hopefully you can hear me. You might not be able to hear me, but hopefully you do. I'm out for the evening walk or daily walk. It's starting to kind of rain right now, so I need to head back. But I'm getting my 5,000 steps in, so can't tell me nothing. Another oatmeal breakfast, but it's really good. I've been switching it up between this and my parfaits in the morning with my celery juice. But yeah, this is the breakfast today. One day, I guess, I will show you guys my lunch and dinner. <laughs> I also had Chick-fil-A last night for dinner. So, there's that. Hey, guys. <laughs> um, I basically weigh the same, 206. It's, nothing's changed. I have maintained this week. Um, I had a little bit of sweet treats and some, like, lattes and stuff here and there this week. So, yeah, everything's pretty much the same. Nothing's changed in terms of my weight. So we'll do another check-in next week. Um, hopefully I go down. You know, it'd be nice to reach 204 um, next week this time. So we're going to work towards that. But I think right now I'm going to grab a um, donut because I'm really craving it. And also, I haven't eaten anything this morning. Um, because I went to buy a desk, but yeah, so shopping is interesting nowadays, guys, as we all know. So I'm checking with you guys on Sunday. This is my dinner currently right here, and then I have my dessert. But yeah, I'm just having my quinoa burger um, veggie patty that I am obsessed with with a lot of kale. And then I'm having parfait, which is strawberries, yogurt, granola, honey, and some chia seeds. I'm going to watch some anime. And that's, that's going to be my night. <laughs> so I just got back from my walk. I did 6,500 steps, apparently. Um, did a pretty, pretty ooh, long walk today. I've eaten pretty healthy. Made myself some popcorn with a little bit of honey and salt at the end of my dinner as my little snack. And yeah, I, I got these organic popping corn um, package from Trader Joe's. So because it's cheaper in the long run to just buy the kernels and pop them yourself in a pot instead of like buying bags and bags of popcorn that's already popped. And plus those bags have like preservatives in them, I think. They're just, it's a lot easier to have. It's just a lot cheaper to have like popcorn that you just have to pop yourself in a pot or in a popcorn machine than have them already pre-packaged for you because they take up a lot of space. And these ones do not take up a lot of space and they're cheaper in the long run. 
and it takes the same like maybe it might take like a couple minutes longer because you're just waiting for the pot to get hot enough so that they can pop the kernels so that is my little tidbit and that's what I'm going to be doing going forward but yeah I'm really excited for this month to get underway with my weight loss journey and to get back on track because girl is tired of being in the 200s to the point where she's just like you know what let's get in the 100s let's get in the 190s and get you closer to your goal weight so that's what i'm gonna do this morning i'm moving very slow but good morning nonetheless beautiful people i am going to start making my parfait for my breakfast it is 10 o'clock i have wasted too much time but yeah that's the that's the plan i am still intermittent fasting um been doing really well about that this past week slash weekend and i am eating healthy as healthy as can be well, i haven't bought any ice cream i have been eating popcorn um as part of my like snack dessert thing for dinner so i end the meal with some popcorn that i bought at trader joe's so yeah um and i just like have a small little bowl of popcorn with some salt and honey and that is my like snack my salty sweet snack because i crave something salty and sweet so i figure this is the best opportunity for that but i'm gonna get um going on making my breakfast this morning because it's 10 o'clock which is really late it's been a slow slow morning but i'm just really tired from yesterday it's activities so see you guys tomorrow for another check-in just finished my walk for the day um did about 6500 steps and yeah get my exercise eaten healthy and clean as best as I can. Currently on my morning walk for the day. I haven't done my ab workout, but I'll probably do it later um, when I get back since I started pretty late for this walk. But getting the walk in yesterday, I did about 12,000 steps. And today, hopefully, I can reach 12,000 steps again. But minimum now is... 10,000 steps this week and if I can bump it up to 15k next week that would be great too but yeah really taking this dingo step challenge seriously and eating healthy shed a few pounds guys we'll see what I weigh on Saturday good morning beautiful people 
Um, so I'm here to give you like a away update, but on Thursday morning, I weighed 206.3. And then that evening I had a book club. So we did like build your own burrito with margaritas and churros. So obviously a cheat meal there. And then yesterday on Friday, I went and got Chick-fil-A because I was doing a lot yesterday. I was doing a lot of errands and stuff like that. So um, I was like buying plants and stuff. Well, plant supplies, trying to find the right stuff. And it just took me a second. And then I realized it's dinner time and I really haven't eaten all that much today. So I had Chick-fil-A. Um, so that's just like two cheat meals in a row and yeah which which i've talked about this before like when you lose weight and then you eat something that is not good for you um you're gaining weight that is more likely just water weight like your body hasn't fully processed that um so yeah that's where i'm at that's the weight update so I'm currently making some couscous or couscous, couscous, however you say it, um, that I got from Trader Joe's a while back. I had first made the ground beef and then I added some water in there, um, put the couscous on top. It was already seasoned, so the couscous is gonna just soak up all of the seasoning as well as the water, making it fluffy. So it's like ground beef with couscous. And then I already have some green beans made, but this is gonna be my lunch and my dinner today. Um, so I'm gonna have half of this right now. It's like two o'clock basically, and the other half at dinner time. But yeah, that is my lunch and dinner. I'm also going with the Green Dragon hot sauce. Um, might put some tapatio sauce in there as well, just to spice it up even more since the Green Dragon sauce is a little bit more citrusy you know what i'm saying on my first walk of the day trying to get the exercise well not trying i am getting the exercise and i'm gonna head back home once i reach my certain destination my certain destination i will then go back home do some abs light arm, light leg, and then get ready for the day. On my morning walk, <laughs> man, that squirrel moves fast. Anyways, on my morning walk, my goal with these walks is to try to up my pace. So I'm walking for time uh, as well as distance, but each day I try to go further in a, in like the same amount of time that I have if that makes sense. So I walk for an hour, but if I can walk further every day for that hour, then that is the goal. That is what I am trying to accomplish. And I'm succeeding so far. This is the furthest I've walked and it's pretty far. It's the most steps that I've gotten. Um, kind of measure it by steps as well as like the time and distance. But yeah, that's my goal. Good morning, beautiful people. I was going to do an ab workout and show you guys this new exercise that I've been doing that I've been loving, but I'm gonna show you tomorrow. The reason why I'm not doing that this morning is because there's a freaking spider in my room and I can't handle it. Oh my gosh. Anyways, I walked this morning, I got like six, thousand to seven thousand steps in this morning um i plan on getting doing another walk in the evening um to try to get up to ten thousand like i've been doing the past couple days really it's been like eleven to twelve thousand steps that i've been getting in but today i don't want to push it too far because i am just so tired i'm so tired walking five miles five well six miles every day has been a lot but i'm just looking at the spider moving on my ceiling so that's the reason why i am 
not showing you any food today or workout stuff because this freaking spider. I just don't know why it's in my room. Like, why can't you stay outside? <laughs> morning beautiful people this is my breakfast i'm having my little parfait bowl it has um flaxseed with strawberries and chia seeds with goat yogurt and crunchy peanut butter also having my celery juice but yeah that is today's breakfast Good morning, beautiful people. So today is the final day of the month and your girl weighs 204.8. So not a lot of progress gone down, but that's still not 209 or 206. So I'm gonna take it as a win. Um, yesterday I did an ab workout along with the food that I showed you in the morning. And today I'm not gonna work out because um, I just don't feel like it. I'm just not going to do that today. So tomorrow we'll start fresh. Um, in July, I don't like that look. <laughs> but anyways, I weigh 204.8. That's what I'm ending the month as. I'm really excited. And yeah. Good morning, beautiful people. I, it is July 1st. And I am not working out today. I actually started my period this past week. So this week is kind of just going out the window. Because the pain is real. And I just, I don't want to. Also, I went out yesterday. I don't think I showed this, but I got sushi along with two egg rolls from Whole Foods and two ice cream sandwiches. So, but that's literally all I ate yesterday <laughs> along with a parfait bowl in the morning. So, yeah. I plan on eating healthy the rest of this week because it's not that I didn't feel good after I ate them like I felt fine but I was just like okay you wild out this week so you gotta rain it back in girl you gotta rain back in so I'm gonna try to eat healthy the remainder of this week and next week because I had enough for two weeks unhealthy eating okay and i got this pork jerky guys it is the best also since it's fourth of july <laughs> i had a lot of croissants and a donut and all the things and guys um i i am 208 <laughs> i gained four pounds so quickly Ugh. but it's all right. I'm gonna continue eating this amazing, like, look at that. It's so, oh, guys, if you have a Costco membership or if you can get your hands on Golden Island jerky, the Korean barbecue one is so good. Like the flavor is just next level, but I'm pretty sure the rest of their jerky is also just as good. Cause honestly, it is some of the best that I've ever had. And I'm not one to brag about jerky um, at all, but I do really like it.
morning, beautiful people. Currently having breakfast, um, celery juice with some oatmeal. Um, it does, my oatmeal does not look appetizing, so I'm not going to show it. But anyways, this morning I did not go for a walk. Yesterday I went for a walk. Um, last night I just like was really restless and couldn't sleep, so I didn't like... I literally tried sleeping up until like 1, 2, 2 o'clock in the morning and finally went to sleep so I woke up late and I'm trying to make sure that I'd stick with doing like workouts in the morning because that is like my routine now that I'm instilling for myself that I had pre-quarantine so trying to get back into like a really good schedule of just working out in the morning so I did abs this morning um, and now I'm eating breakfast while watching some cartoons because child forever but yeah i don't think i'm gonna go for a walk in the evening because i just want to stick with my walks in the morning as in all my exercise in the morning so i'm gonna do it tomorrow and just eat healthy today so that is the tea also i've been really enjoying the vegetables that i've gotten from the farmer's market i think I am converted. I'm going to continue buying fresh produce like that because it tastes so much better. It's easier to eat. It's not as chewy. Ugh, it's so good. So I'm definitely gonna, especially for the like the price that you're paying, it's such a deal. Anyway, I'm gonna get back to my breakfast and I'll catch you guys later. So I made my lunch and I'm having fresh beets with fresh green beans and then I also have my turkey burger with some goat cheese mixed in. Guys, farmer's market vegetables are where it's at. It tastes so much better because I used to not like beets, but now I do. So it's just the key of having fresh beets. But yeah, this is my lunch today. Good morning, beautiful people. Today is weigh-in. It is currently 11.11. 11. Um, I weigh 205.4. Last time we talked, um, like last month I ended at, I think at like 206 or something. I don't really remember what I, excuse me, what I ended the month of June as, but now I'm at 205.4. I've been working really hard to like eat healthy and not um, gain the weight back. Yesterday I did have a cheat day. So I had sushi. I had one roll of sushi from Whole Foods. I had an ice cream sandwich and I had a couple of bites of these paleo puffs. They're the no cheese cheesiness. They're paleo and they're, you know, lactose free friendly chips. And they really do taste very cheesy. It, I, I will say it's kind of a quiet taste. Um, you get you get used to it, but yeah. So that is what I had yesterday as my cheat meal um, for dinner, because I felt like it. And now today I am sticking with the oatmeal as my brunch, since it's like 11.10 and I need to hurry up and leave. And I'm gonna have my celery juice, I'm gonna chug that, and then I'm going to drink my matcha. Um, I got this at the grocery store by Ripple, it's dairy free, as it should be. Um, and it's matcha with other natural flavors, eight, eight plus grams of protein, and has superfoods in it. And then I just mix it with a little bit of pistachio syrup so that I can make the Grinch latte with it. But I'm gonna have that um, after. I just need to do some groceries. But anyways, I'm gonna let things cook. I'm gonna do my... Uh, dishes and I'm going to get out of here. So yeah. Good morning, beautiful people. I am currently on my walk today and I'm trying to get in about 8,000 steps today. 
I am, I also did my ab workout this morning before I went on my walk so that my abs were engaged while walking. But yeah, I am on this walk and I'm realizing that I breathe heavy on my walks and I just need to build up my stamina. So something I got to work on. But anyways, that's my update for you guys today. drinking my celery juice but good morning beautiful people i have not worked out this morning i did not go for a walk like i did yesterday morning um because i had a very early appointment at 7 15 this morning so early and i didn't get finished up until close to eight o'clock and right now it is like 8 51 so it's about to be nine which means i need to start work right now um but yeah, so haven't worked out today, but that's fine. It'll be a rest day and then I will work out tomorrow. I will go for a walk. But yesterday I did my walk. I did my abs first and then my walk so that my core was engaged while I was walking. And then I did some resistant bands workouts on my legs. And then I um, did foam rolling. I really need to get back into foam rolling and stretching because my body is paying for it. It just doesn't feel fully 100%. So I'm trying to be better about like stretching and like rolling out my very sore muscles so that they're not just kind of building on top of each other um, and not getting the proper oxygen that they actually need. So yeah, but that is the update for today. Got more farmer's market vegetables that I'm going to get through as part of my lunch and dinners and I am really liking eating fresh vegetables. I feel like it's helped reduce my craving for sweets because I had um, some sour bright gummy worm candies over the weekend and they just didn't, they didn't taste that great like they usually do and I'm just like oh it's probably because I'm just eating extremely healthy foods which is great. A little sad because I'm like oh I can't enjoy these but at the same time I don't need to be enjoying them so anyways I'll see you guys later hello beautiful people so I weighed myself this morning I know it's not Saturday but I weighed myself this morning and I weighed 210 yesterday was one of my best friend's birthday and we had a I had two slices of vegan pizza slice two vegan pizza slices I had a small slice of vegan cake, Funfetti, and then I also had one vegan donut, glazed, a lot of strawberries, and then earlier this week I had two ice cream sandwiches. So, and then everything else was healthy. And then today I had pork katsu curry, which is like three or four cups of rice. I'm exaggerating, like three cups of rice you have the curry with, you know, sweet potatoes and stuff like that in there. Not sweet potatoes, but like, uh, I think sweet potatoes. I don't really know the vegetables that are in the curry. And then obviously the pork, um, the breaded pork. And that was like my lunch slash dinner because all I had was a matcha latte this morning. I also have been having more matcha lattes, which, you know, those carry calories. And so I feel like all of that has attributed to my weight gain of 4.6 pounds for those items. So I'm just like, well, it's all right. It's only Thursday. Wow, it's only Thursday. Um, halfway through the month. I just wanna get back to 205.4 and go from there. So that's the goal for the rest of this month. But yeah, I've also like had insomnia the past couple weeks. So I have not been sleeping well or fully. It hasn't been great, which also means like mentally, I'm kind of just like ugh, all over the place because I'm just not getting enough sleep. This is such a great, it truly is just a wild time. 
and we're all just doing our best to continue making it through, you know? So for lunch, I am having a turkey burger with some couscous, beets, and zucchini. You can't really tell because the beets kind of like dyed everything else, but there's couscous in there and there's zucchini along with my turkey burger. And then I have pomegranate juice and water, and that is my lunch. For lunch today, I am keeping it very simple and having fresh green beans with a quinoa burger. This morning I had a protein bar with banana and um, my celery juice. So it's been a kind of simple eating day, but that's kind of where I'm at today. So for today's lunch, it is a lot of beets <laughs> um, that I just sauteed. And then I have my quinoa burger that I kind of just not deconstructed <laughs> and I'm mixing it all together but yeah that is my lunch for today my lunch for today is a broccoli with some quinoa burger along with goat cheese all just deconstructed and mixed together so yeah that is what I'm having for lunch along with pomegranate juice All right, babes, I have some ground turkey burger, or yeah, just a turkey burger, not ground turkey burger. A turkey burger with broccoli and a side of kimchi. I also got this ginger beer from uh, World Market that is really, really good. Um, and then I have some hash browns, just, you know, getting settled. So I'm gonna eat that first, but, and then have this later on. But that essentially is my lunch for today. Good afternoon, beautiful people. So I haven't checked in a few days. I realize that, I'm sorry about that. Um, last week was kind of just a meh, it was a stressful week. It was just an awful week. And going into this week, it was also stressful a little bit, but I'm doing a lot better now. Mentally, I'm in a better space, which is awesome. So I'm just trying to keep that going forward because what we're all going through in the world right now is just, it's a lot. It's difficult, it's hard to deal with, but we're just doing our best to just kind of, you know, make it through. So anyways, last week I got some tests done and found out that my sugar levels are really high. And guys, honestly, the reason why my weight is staying in the 200 to 210 area is because I will buy sweets at the weekend and kind of go crazy and have a lot of sweets. And that has just been causing problems for me with losing weight. Um, it is my own fault, like I'm consuming those things, I shouldn't be consuming those things. But now it's like affecting my health in a very negative way. And so I have to really take precautions and be better about not consuming sweets because it is truly like my body is just like, girl, we can't handle the amount of sweets that you have in so certain like you will like there are consequences for that and i don't want to continue indulging in sweets and face those really real consequences so i am going to curb my appetite and do my best to stay away from sweets um, i'm trying to take it the same approach that i took with lactose when i found out that i was lactose intolerant um and yeah, I'm gonna approach it the same way. I'm not gonna completely, well, I'm not gonna com approach it the same way because how I approach being lactose intolerant is just not having it at all, at least stateside because overseas in Iceland, I was able to have cheesecake and pizza and I was fine, <laughs> I was fine. So it's literally antibiotics that is being put into cows for their dairy products because it is wild, the fact that I can eat cheesecake and pizza with cheese, like all the cheese, like real cheese from a cow in Iceland but yet here, I, <laughs> I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't. So yeah, I am going to take an approach of 
if I have sweets, it's just, it's a very limited, very limited amount. I cannot buy pints of ice cream anymore. I cannot buy the candies anymore. If it is like a sweet that I'm going to have, it has to be out at a restaurant or something. Um, and it's like one thing. And that one thing will be for the entire week. And then if I don't have uh, a sweet that week, I'm not going to add it um, as my account for the next week and being like, well, I didn't have a sweet last week, so that means I can have two this week. No, no. It's if I don't have it this week, fine. Then if I don't have it the next week, that's also fine. But really just limiting the amount of sweets that I'm having so that I am like, and limiting the amount of sugar intake that I am putting into my body because it is just something that I don't want to affect myself negatively. And it's almost it almost got to that point and so yeah I just don't want to be a person who's relying on yeah I just I just don't want to go down that path anymore and because I'm catching it early I'm gonna do what's necessary to make sure that I stay off of it um, and be proactive about my health and take it seriously because I want to remain healthy and be as healthy as possible and function at the greatest level that I can um, and if I know I can control that in what I'm eating, I'm gonna do that. So that's why I've been a little bit MIA in terms of not like consistently showing what I'm eating and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, just had to get some tests done and found out that, you know, sugar levels are high and I have to make some real changes in order to help myself be the best that I can be and function at my optimum levels. So that's the update. I've been eating healthy this past couple weeks, so I'll show food tomorrow. But that's my, that's my little update. <laughs> Bye. So as you can see, I ended June weighing 205 pounds and I ended July weighing 207 pounds. Currently, I am averaging about 206, which is not bad, and I'm not mad at it. I'm not upset that I am kind of maintaining 206 pounds, especially with everything going on. I think right now, kind of going forward, I'm not going to try to make promises to myself that I can't attain, just because with everything that's going on, I'm just trying to make sure that I am being the healthiest version of myself and doing what's best for myself and not putting a lot of pressure on myself. How many times can I say myself? <laughs> um, anyways, yeah, I think going forward, especially for the month of August, I'm just gonna kind of focus going forward from August through the end of the year. I still do wanna try to main, like reach my goal of losing another 30 pounds. And I'm gonna have to start that goal from 207 like down so hopefully I can meet that goal by the end of the year um, and start the new year 30 pounds lighter than what I currently weigh which is 207 for the end of July <laughs> but yeah I I'm going to try to incorporate working out more because in the month of July I definitely did injure my back along with a bunch of other stuff that kind of went on with myself in my life and so I just didn't work out as much. And so going forward, I'm going to try to focus on doing low impact exercises and incorporating more stretching and yoga just so that I'm taking care of myself and also just eating as healthy as possible. I think the mentality that I was doing in terms of like a keto-like diet is just not being, it's, it's no longer sustainable for me and it hasn't been sustainable this entire year. And so I, I was doing the thing of no carbs, as in no breads, no, no rice. I was doing all these different things that like I thought would be helpful. And then I was starting to incorporate more carbs into my diet because I felt like that was something that I was missing because my body was just functioning better with a little bit more carbs. And I'm just trying to find the balance in terms of what's working for me food wise because I know for myself personally, I lose weight by what I eat more than how much I work out. Even when I was going to the gym and I was working out so much, a lot of the times it really just came down to what I was eating and how much I was eating. So that is what I'm going to try to focus on is just eating a overall well-balanced diet. 
I'm trying to incorporate more fruits in there. I'm definitely, definitely trying to um, like limit the amount of sweets that I'm having simply because as I explained in the video, I think I explained it, I'm, I'm trying to cut down on sweets so that I'm performing at my best self. I'm performing at the 100% like what I need to be performing for my entire body to function properly and work properly. So I definitely know I need to cut down on sugar because I've seen some of the negative impacts and suffered some of the consequences of having a high sugar diet simply because you, for me personally, like I'm an emotional eater, so I would get emotional and to try to cope, I would eat pints of ice cream on the weekend and then eat healthy throughout the week. And then it was just like this repetitive cycle and that's what I've been doing. So I think I just need to find something that is a little bit more sustainable for me and that is a lot healthier for me, which is no longer kind of trying to aim for this keto-like diet that I was doing before. I'm just trying to incorporate more fruits because that was something that was definitely missing from my diet, but also including some carbs in there because carbs are not bad. And I know there's carbs in some vegetables like broccoli, but I'm talking about like you know grains and breads and stuff like that and pastas so i definitely want to incorporate more of that but in a healthier way in a more balanced way but also incorporating more fruit into my diet because i know that is something that i am missing and i just want to make sure that i'm getting all the nutrients that i can from the food from my the food that i'm eating and so that my body can function at its best self at, at its at its optimum levels and so that is what i'm trying to do going forward and that is the direction that i'm going to try to do i am aiming to lose another 30 pounds from 207 so the goal although i don't want to put too much pressure on myself but the goal is to weigh like 177 by the end of the year so that is my goal is to lose 30 pounds from 207 and be 177 pounds. That is just a goal that is what I want to reach and hopefully I can reach that goal. I feel like it is attainable, especially for like August, September, October, November, December. We have literally five more months left of the year. So I think it is definitely attainable. Although for the month, you know, for August, like it is my birthday month. So I imagine like there's going to be a week in there where because I'm celebrating and, you know, having a good time and eating what I want, I might gain a little bit of weight. I'm not going to be upset about it. Okay. But I know I can bounce back and continue going forward eating healthy. So that is kind of where I'm at. That is the goal is to continue doing low impact exercises, doing my ab workouts, continue stretching, doing some yoga, incorporating a more well balanced um, diet, but also like incorporating exercises that are just back to the basics and they're simple. They're not these fancy crazy things. I'm not trying to chase after these diets because honestly they're just not sustainable and not what I would want because if I'm gonna lose all the weight, get to my ideal weight size, I want to be able to enjoy a pizza every now and then instead of just being like I can never have a pizza not that I've never denied myself a pizza during this whole entire journey you guys have seen that but honestly like with my mentality and coming onto these videos and telling you like this is what I aspire to do and then doing something else I'd rather just be able to ha like not think of foods as bad versus good it's just food that I like more than others and that should be okay and understanding that I do have to have those foods that are maybe not the healthiest choices in moderation but not completely discounting them from my diet. I just want to be more realistic with myself and realistic with you guys and just be more transparent. So that is the goal. That is what I'm doing going forward. I am excited to continue on this journey and to just be better and more on top of everything. So I appreciate everybody's support. So yeah, don't forget to stay kind, stay true, and stay laughing. And I will see you in next month's review.